Hello guys, I'm gonna make for you Flemish Stoflees. It's a comfort food from Belgium and of course it's made with Belgian beer. So first of all, we need some a good chunk of butter. So you take a good piece of butter and you put it right in here. And we let that melt. One of the main ingredients is of course onions. I got four of them and uh, you chop them in big pieces. Of course we need meat. And we're gonna, we have beef meat here, of course, uh, with a little bit of fat on, very important. We're gonna cut it in pieces. It's already a bit salted, a bit peppered, pepperish. You don't have to make an artwork of this. So you don't need to cook the meat, just the outside need to have this color so that the color red is gone, but the meat can be raw inside. That's totally not a problem. So now the meat is in there, we're gonna flavor it up. Um, I like to use some natural pate to give it uh, a bit more of pork fat taste so you just cut it off here so once the meat is inside there uh, you take the Belgian beer you take always a strong Belgian beer uh, preferably brown beer of course I love to use uh, Chimé Bleu so you open it and just put it in here this is still hot so that's a point, you need to make the beer very hot before you do it by the meat, otherwise the meat is going to be very hard and not tender. Um, personally, I always like to use uh, a Westie, a West Plative, to also kick it in with the Chimé Bleu, to give it an extra or aroma flavor of course. So we also do this one in here. Once the West Plative and the Chimé Bleu is in the pan and it's good, almost boiling, you do it in here. So one of the main ingredients is also mustard. You take a very strong mustard, of course, and you do it on some dark bread. You open the mustard. You don't have to make an artwork out of it. You just take enough mustard. You do it on this. You're just gentle like this. Very important. Mustard goes first and you put it to give it a bit sweetness. You take a little bit of pure chocolate. Not much. Hopefully not. You do it in here, like this is more than enough. Voila. So, now the bread and a little bit of chocolate is in there. 
we just have to wait. We take the seal, we put it on there on a light fire and at least four hours. You can give it a stir sometimes, but just put the seal on it four hours until everything is tender and then you're good to go.